Fish fans. Sorry for shaky cam. Today is Shawnee and I in the car. Uh, I'm posting this video as soon as I make it because I wanted you to get like my genuine reaction. I wanted to follow up on my video from yesterday about the hater email I got because there's been some developments, okay? Um, so, you, if you haven't seen the video yet, uh, I'll link it in the description. But basically, I got this really hateful, very specific email. And it was weird because it kind of attacked things that like, you'd have to know me to know that I really care about it. And also, it kept name dropping my Patreon, which is weird because the person was not a member of my Patreon. And they definitely didn't know what was on my Patreon because they didn't reference anything correctly. So it's just someone who knew I had Patreon. So basically, um, this, this email was connected to the Instagram of an artist in the Philippines. And I reached out to them both in email and on Instagram because I wasn't sure what they would respond to. And I sent them the same message in both and I read it in the other video. And they responded to me in email and they were really rude and basically said like, um, oh, you're just making excuses and don't you think that, uh, do you think Annette Kellerman would make excuses? And um, you can call me the villain if you want, but you know I'm right. <laughs> and I wrote them back and I was like, you know, I don't think Annette Kellerman would like be a Christian and then send people hate mail. And then they wrote me back like another one that was just like you're in denial and stuff. And it was super weird. But there was like, right from the start of this, I thought it was somebody who knew me personally. And the only reason I like thought that it was someone else that didn't know me there's Sean side-eyeing everything while we drive. <laughs> the only reason I thought it was someone who didn't know me um, was because it did connect to an actual artist in the Philippines um, Instagram page. And like their English was like very, 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 very good for someone who's not an Eng a native English speaker. And the tone came across very much like a man and the Instagram was a woman. So it was strange. So had it not been for the Instagram connection, I would have thought it was one of my, my regular haters. So I do have regular haters. People are surprised to hear that. Um, I've, I've had to deal with some people in the Mer community who literally are just spending all their time instead of focusing on having a business and doing the best they can do, uh, they just focus on tearing down other people. And people don't like me um, for a lot of reasons. And some of them are valid and some of them are just I don't know, people want attention, so that's what they do, and that's fine. Like, not everybody has to like me, that's okay. I used to really feel like I had to make everybody like me by being whatever they wanted, and then that just became exhausting, so I stopped doing that. <laughs> and, yeah, so basically I have some crazy haters, and in the past they have done extremely ridiculous things, like extremely, like I've been in a tabloid that was full of lies, I've had like um, people try to contact my family and friends, you know, people try to hack my website and my Facebook and stuff, like some of these people are just legitimately insane with their obsession. And if it hadn't been for the connection to Instagram, there's like a person that I have in mind who would have done this based on previous behavior. So as I said, I sent out these emails and they kept replying back to me, but I also said that I, I sent out one to Instagram. So the artist actually replied to me on Instagram and they were like, oh my God, this is not me. And I'm really freaked out that this person is mimicking me to this degree. And the email address was off by one letter and they screenshot their own email and like showed it to me to show me that the email was not their email. They're like, they're even like using my signature and stuff. Like it's really, really creepy. So somebody intentionally sent me this nasty message, very personal specific message, and intentionally wanted me to think it was this innocent woman on Instagram, this innocent artist, and I think their thinking was that I would tell them off and flip out and like name and shame them and everything, which I didn't do. Like I'm joking about it here because it was like a really ridiculous email. But I reached out to them and I tried to reach out to them with kindness because I legitimately was confused. I was like, this is a weird email. And I actually think this person might have me confused with somebody, but it was just a malicious hater. And it's really sad that somebody would go to that length to take a dig at me and try to like trip me up as to kind of like bring in an innocent party. So the joke is on them because I became friends with this woman and she's awesome. And I've promoted her now on my Instagram. She's, um, she does, um, 
beautiful watercolor paintings and her husband is also an artist and she told me she loves mermaids and she loves Ariel <laughs> and she went through all my comments uh, she went through all my pictures and left me lots of really nice comments and uh, she's really funny and so we had like a really great rapport going on and definitely not the same person at all and I'm like 99% sure that I know who this person is now so I emailed them back and I was like I gotcha like that was a really shitty thing to do don't know why you did that and of course they did not reply so this is literally just a big old setup but recently I have been getting a lot of this and this is my first video that I've done about it but I had somebody make an account and go through all of my YouTube videos calling me fat calling me a whale saying that I can't swim saying that I'm not a professional mermaid and I should leave it to the professionals I had somebody make a fake Instagram account and leave comments all over my Instagram calling me fat um, saying I can't swim the haters they always focus on stuff saying I can't swim and um, it's like really ableist because I have been very honest from the very start of my journey that swimming did not come easy to me and that I used mermaiding to get good at swimming um, but I've never been somebody to be like oh I'm Raina the best swimmer in the world like there are a million mermaids out there who are better than me my sister is one of them mermaid Emma first time I put her in a tail she could do stuff that was crazy good she was just like instantly stuff that I spent years trying to get good at she did that I've always been the mermaid who's been about education the environment and kids and advocating for overcoming illness like that's my thing that's what I'm good at I know that I'm not an amazing swimmer. I know that I'm not super skinny and gorgeous. I know that I'm not super well connected and doing these amazing photo shoots with like whales and stuff. Like I've never said that I'm that way. I've never promoted that I'm that way. Um, but it's like they pick the things that I'm sensitive about to try to do to me. So like that's one, like the swimming. The other thing is Annette Kellerman. They know that I admire her so much they want to remind me you're not like Annette Kellerman blah 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 <laughs> and it's like okay I know that like Annette was freaking diving off of diving boards into pools full of crocodiles like of course I'm not like Annette Kellerman um she just inspires me big time um that's one of the things they do uh they call me fat because they know that I'm sensitive about my weight they say that I fake my disease I have one woman who has gone to extreme lengths to say that I fake my disease she said that I get I go to the hospital and get them to give me bracelets to make it look like I'm sick and for anybody who knows how the Canadian Health Center like the, the whole health facilities work you sit in the waiting room for like four or five hours just to get in so nobody's gonna go do that to get fake bracelet okay no one's gonna give me a fake bracelet she also said that um, she called my government and they told her I'm not sick like this is the kind of insane stuff you attract when you start to do well um, and like they will just lie and Part of the reason I face this in the mermaid industry is because I've always been a truth speaker and I always post proof. And from the very beginning of my time in the mermaid world, I was speaking up for the little guy, people who were getting scammed, people like Adam Martin was a big thing. He stole like thousands of dollars from people, tens of thousands of dollars from people. And I spoke out about that. Mer Taylor and I have a great relationship now, but we did not when we started. And I was like the first person to ever give him a bad review. And when I did that, everybody started coming out of the woodwork like nobody gave bad reviews to anybody until I started doing it because everybody was a scared everybody was afraid and scared of being I said a scared <laughs> I said a scared <laughs> everybody was a scared of being blacklisted um, so yeah like I was the first person to do that and I've always been truthful I always back up with proof and People who want to cause problems in the mermaid world, people who benefit from confusion, and people who like to exploit others and scam them, um, they don't like that I do that. So they try to silence me, but it doesn't work because I tell the truth. So what can you do if you're lying and someone else is telling the truth? Well, the only thing you can do is lie louder and hope that people believe you over them. So they do this to me constantly. They try to set me up. Sometimes I do fall for crap and I stick my foot in my mouth and I'm like, oh wow, I backed the wrong horse on that one and I try to be humble and admit when I've messed up. Um, but it's like non-stop. I am focusing all my energy on me and running my business and having a cool YouTube channel, my lovely husband here and my health. Um, but these people will literally spend days and days and days and they've been spending years 
just trying to hate on other people. Uh, one of the people I suspect of doing this has gone as far as like um, trying to hack Mer Network, trying to hack people's Facebooks, literally contacting some of my mermaid friends' bosses at their day jobs or their clients and their venues to try to like like the, it's crazy they're not even competition they just do this to be awful so the mermaid world is like anything else there are toxic people um narcissistic people and narcissistic people do not like being called narcissists or being called out so that's the big thing now too it's like oh Raina thinks everyone's a narcissist no Raina just happens to know what a narcissist is <laughs> and we work in a community and an industry where people get to have attention like I'm doing right now and they'll do anything they can for that attention they'll they'll fake stuff they'll lie they'll scam they'll start rumors they'll start drama just for entertainment I had someone do that to me once before they sent me fake screenshots of a mutual friend to make me think that that mutual friend was like talking about me behind my back and uh, and I fell for it back then because I didn't know there were apps that like do that and I didn't know how to recognize it and it started all this drama between me and this person and like people just do this crap this is one reason why professional mermaids who are like really on their a-game don't get involved in the community because there's just so much of that but on the flip side, I choose to still be in the community because I also see all the good. And I've benefited from the good. There are really great people and I'm not saying all of this to scare you off the community either because I, I am still in the community. I appreciate what the community does. I think everyone should get a chance to be a mermaid. I like being able to share my resources. But you gotta be careful because there are those toxic people as well. So anyway, that was the resolution of my crazy hater email, which was hilarious and should be printed and framed. Like the hater that wrote it is definitely creative. I'll give them that. Uh, my um, Disney boring art teacher mermaid Raina here, loving it. So anyway, Shawnee and I are off to test out my Fantasy Four. We're gonna have some reviews coming. We're gonna have lots of videos and pictures. It's really warm. I'm wearing my slip-ins. It's awesome. We love you. Thank you for all your support. And uh, let this be a lesson to handle even your haters with grace because could you imagine if I had written back to that person on Instagram and been nasty and she was totally undeserving of it and instead I chose to be kind and kindness goes a long way folks. So be kind. Love you. Best wishes.